में शाह जल्दी कर भी क्या ये प्लीज वीरू कम ऑन ले खुश खुश हट मैं नहीं करना चल स्कूल जाने का टाइम हो गया अभी प्लीज वीरू ए सिस्टर इज अ ड्रैगन समबडी डेट हर एंड कम एंड टेक हर ऑफ माय हैंड्स I believe the music is begging to be made. So, I just had an asthma attack. I've had asthma since I was a little girl. During the lockdown, it got better because there was less air pollution. But now things have started to get back to normal, and traffic's come up, and air pollution has increased. I can't breathe. I can taste it. It's like swallowing a cigarette. I can't even breathe in my own home. Hey guys, so we live in a democracy, which means we are allowed to petition our government in respect to matters of the general public interest. So, um, <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is. from my window caused by traffic pollution would you eat this would you eat this Hi, the united nations clean air initiative stay with me it's important i'm fine for eating my half so i don't have time for this i need to study but here are some important facts about emissions from coal power plants I'm a hotshot lawyer with my hotshot suit and my hotshot brain, saving the world from air pollution one toxic corporation at a time. Lahari, what are you doing? Nothing. You are ridiculous. Scientists have warned that in the next 10 years, sea levels may become too high for coastal communities on the east coast of England. The MP for South Norfolk, Richard Bacon, said unless sea defences are constructed as a matter of urgency, some people may be forced to move out of their homes much sooner than expected. So, are you coming, yeah? Look, there's going to be loads of us. It's not pointless if loads of us do it, and it's really important. The world's average temperature has already increased by one degree, and if it gets to two degrees, then sea levels are going to literally engulf entire countries. Hello. Hello. Wait a minute. Hey, I uh, just wonder if you're coming on Saturday. 
protest, we're going to send a really clear message because if they don't do something, then the world is going to be like hell on earth. Well, what do you mean? How do we get there to take the bus? Okay. Uh, uh, maybe next time, yeah? We're really busy. Are you really there? I've got things to do that are really important, like at a world level. Ask him what time he's coming for his dinner. Granddad? Happy birthday, yeah? Got your card. Off and traveling together. Jade, Kerry, Khadisha, Azak. Yeah, he said we'd probably be yours, yeah. Just yourself. And a coat, obviously. Do you want a batch? No, my friend, thank you. <laughs> Mum, seriously, li listen to me, listen to me. Didn't you hear the news? They've just announced that sea levels are going to rise by a minimum of one metre by the end of the century. A metre. But the media is on our side now. This is the time. You know what? The older generation might think we've got an actual problem, but we had to go through a pandemic, trashed our GCSEs, an economic recession, the planet is literally collapsing and we're all going to die. So, excuse me if I don't waste my energy writing stupid essays. Mum? I only asked if you got your crossword candidate on time. Mum, seriously? Thousands of students demonstrated today outside the Houses of Parliament in London, calling on the government to take more action to mitigate against climate change. Their actions followed a report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which declared that sea levels are predicted to rise by a minimum of one metre by the end of the century. A spokesman for the government said this would be a catastrophe for the country and many coastal regions... risk. You OK? What's this? Is this you? Yep. I promise I'll go and see him tomorrow. But it's his birthday today. I know, but I've got to do Your this. Your granddad looks forward to you visiting. He's having a hard time at the moment, what with the house and everything. Mum, I'll, I'll come back. Just... The Boys and tensions at climate protests were diffused today when young people who've previously clashed with police were joined by thousands of older protesters dubbing themselves grandparents for the future. They formed a wall between police and younger activists, effectively making a protective barrier 
There have been no reports of arrest and the government has pledged action. <laughs> I can't wait to tell Mum. She's going to freak. Maybe she'll come next time. Is there a next time? Um, what are you doing next weekend? Happy birthday. Yes. Let's all meet at Jamal's kitchen ridiculously early, like 9am. For the speech, I'm thinking start off gently, then like reel them in with some terrifying statistics, and then you could show some pictures of my granddad's house literally crumbling into the sea, and then finish with some of the amazing stuff that's been achieved, like the Green New Deal. And right, you can finish with something totally amazing about the natural world, like in all its wonder or glory or something that's... No, 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 it's not an I promise. When you say it, it's going to blow their mind. Yo guys, it's Tyler here, back for another vlog. As you can see, beautiful London town. It's a lovely morning, but I'm late again for school. And do you know why? Because of this guy. He does this every day. His tomatoes need some loving, man. This boy loves his tomatoes, you know. Oh, Mr. Nature. <laughs> oh, oh my God, what is that? Oh, don't touch it, that's disgusting, man. Ugh. Oh, God, man, it's just a worm. It's like part of the ecosystem. The what? So charged. <laughs> what are you doing? It's my documentary film. It started as an ordinary day. Dad was cooking the chicken McNuggets. He had no idea what was about to happen. <laughs> You're so embarrassing. Yeah. I will die, I swear, I swear, I swear. Yeah. I know there's more to me, you know. Just only the beginning. I know there's more to me, you know. It's only the beginning. Why are you filming me? It's from my documentary film. What film? Do you need more drama for a film? I need more tea. Come and have tea on my balcony. Okay. So we now go live to Jamal's house for the real tea. The real tea. Mm. It's kind of like Too Faced. It's nice, isn't it? Hey, did you eat that tomato I gave you? Oh, no, no. Have some of this with it. Huh? Basil. Mmm. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. Are you okay, yeah? I just... I just want an allotment, you know? Grow potatoes. Or squash! Uh... It's like a mini okay. pumpkin. A pumpkin? Wait, that's what you use for Halloween, no? Bro, you need to eat more vegetables. Now you need to meet more vegetables. Come on, Jamal, hurry up. I'm just hungry. Look, it takes a while because you have to reduce the onions and the tomatoes. I also added these chilies that I grow on my balcony. It's nice to have a bit of spice, you know? Things were getting a little tense in the MasterChef kitchen. <laughs> you should do MasterChef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, be a big cooking star like Gordon Ramsay and that. Eh? What could be better than that? Nah. He's got no ambition. What are your ambitions, Jamal? Yeah, what are your ambitions, Jamal? I just think people should know what they're eating. You know? I always know what I'm eating. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Take these tomatoes, right? Has it ever been on a lorry? No. Has it been flown halfway across the world on a plane? No. 
put in a factory, frozen, wrapped in plastic, chucked in a carrier bag? No. Has it ever had a single chemical or pesticide on it? No. When you eat this, you know what you're eating. Just seeds, sunlight, and a little bit of water. It's a miracle, really. And it grew because I planted it. Yo, try this. Hmm? Oh, uh, Dad! Hold your camera. Oh my god, I've got to do everything around here. Come on, hurry up. All right, I'm coming. Dad, don't drop my camera. I'm not going to drop it. That does look good. Go on, eat it. Mmm! <laughs> You're actually really talented. Uh, it must have been! <laughs> we have to roast that. <clears throat> roast it with what? Black pepper and chilli flakes. Okay, let's give it a go. Hey man, let's practice the interview. Tomorrow is Jamal's interview for his dream job. And he is feeling justifiably nervous. Jamal, why do you want this job? I don't know. Oh, all right, then I'll just give it to someone else then. Because I like cooking. Loads of people like cooking. I think it's important to use food that's grown locally. Yeah, but why though? OK. Because... People die from eating bad meat. It's a matter of life and death. I think everyone deserves to eat properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> That's really good, you got to say that. Excuse me, whose kitchen is this? Jamal's kitchen. Erin? <laughs> oh, really? Thank you. Oh, my days. <gasps> Lahari? Wow. we got a story to tell. Oh, and the spicy sweet potato fries. Yeah. Right? Oh, what? <laughs> the toilet? What? <laughs> oh, special recipe. Hold on. Hold on. Enjoy. Thank you. Hold on. Don't let go. they're growing up in and I think declaring a climate emergency sends a strong I mean that's message. all very well. What can a little parish council actually do? A lot of people think it's far too late to make any kind of difference. And if young people cared about it so much then why are they here? I Nobody is denying people. we're in a climate emergency. But honestly what's the point of doing anything when the Chinese refuse to? They're far worse. Okay, does anybody else have anything they would like to say? Um, well, we do recycle, actually. We do sort of care. We talk about it, like the wildfires and the ice melting and, and David Attenborough. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Does anybody else have anything they would like to say? I'd like to speak. We have no choice but to pull together and to change the way we live on every single level. Act like your house is on fire, because it is. Young people want a better world. Why don't you? We want 
racial and gender equality, a fairer, healthier society, and an end to poverty. To anyone over a certain age who says, it's too late, my response is, how dare you? How dare you gamble with my future? How dare you make a hell for us to live in and then leave us to it? You have a chance tonight to start making a difference. Why would you choose to do anything else? the world, against all expectations, young people have risen up, and look what we've managed to do. We achieved the Green New Deal and a just transition away from fossil fuels. I genuinely believe that in the future we will live in a way that protects our best asset, the natural world, in all its wonder and its glory. We have done so much. We can do even better. Thank you. All right, everyone, what's up? Today, I'm talking with some other young activists that are all making a difference in their own way. Our climate change has become the number one priority for most governments in the last few years. And students and young people, they have been at the center of that change. We're looking back over the last five years and asking them what has changed since the coronavirus pandemics and all those lockdowns and what advice they would give their younger selves starting out. Okay, so um, my advice would be to keep speaking up, right? In whatever way you can, uh, on whatever platform. I remember during the pandemic, I found it really hard to focus, but I just had to get up every day and use my voice to influence others. I would say, Jay, take that one step, however small. Attend a meeting, join a group, sign a petition. You have more power than you think you do. The meat industry used to be one of the worst contributors to global warming, so first off, Erin, get used to a meat-free life. Chill out, you're actually gonna really like vegetarian sausages. <laughs> and homegrown local food is gonna be huge and better thanks to legends like Jamal. Haven't you got someone else better to ask? Lahari, you are not going to be the media lawyer you thought you were. <laughs> you are going to work in ecocide and stop crimes against the environment. It's not glamorous, you won't be invited to all the parties, but you aren't going to let another child lie on the floor suffocating. You're going to do something about it. And that's good. <laughs> Use your vote carefully. It took me a while to find the politicians who talked about sustainability and actually meant it. Advice. Don't be fooled into voting for someone who pretends to be greener than they are. Whatever your skill is, use it to make life better. You know, not just cruising around. Find the people that lift you up. They might not be who you expected. And then arrange meetings. Don't worry if no one comes at first. All movements start small. And actually, small changes can be a great start. For instance, use public transport. Don't waste things. Switch the lights off. Got start somewhere. Okay. Doing even a little good is better than doing nothing. But don't limit yourself. I mean, dream bigger than you thought. Your passion could become your career, right? And if you want change, you should change it. You have much more power than you think you do. You deserve a better world. Demand it. Don't forget to breathe. Oh my god, that was so stupid. <laughs> Lahari, you have a, a master's degree and you forgot to breathe? <laughs> OK. 
Okay, so, somebody else take over. I, I can't do this. <laughs> Say something inspiring. <laughs> I guess it's like passing on to the next generation. Leaving the planet in the way you'd like to find it. Thank <laughs> you.